name's Flintlock. Pleased to meet you. Self-titled, as of only about a day ago. But feel like I've been a Flintlock my entire life. I'm a softly spoken, roguish, but reluctant hero. With a skip in his step, a song in his heart, a penchant for the word, rather. And a rather confused accent. Click, boom. Yeah, I didn't bring the sharpest knife in the world. Do you have a sharper one? Then shh. Do you want to try? Do you want to have a go? No. Then quiet in the cheap seats. <laughs> that looked rather threatening. I'm not going to cut you. I might. Why wouldn't I? Speak quietly. Just listen. There is nothing out here. You would think we had the wind, but we are moving at the same speed as the wind. And everything is just perfectly serene and tranquil. One final little tug. <laughs> Here's a lesson. Next time, you're, what are we doing? Commandeering, sailing, driving, a hot air balloon, ballooning. Bring a sharp knife. Or things that can sharpen a knife. And almost there. Also bring a useful accomplice who has sharp knives. <sighs> Absolute genius. Well done us. Okay, I'm done with this knife. This is not my natural habitat. as you might be able to tell. Okay, accomplice, this is your second task. Can you tie knots? Figure of eight knot. Come on, can you do it? Please. You can tie regular knots. Same. Okay, so I'm gonna give you this one. And all I need is this knot sitting on the ground? Great. Hot air ballooning is a piece of cake. Who ever said anything otherwise? Fly a hot air balloon, they said. It'd be easy, they said. Look, I've made rather an ominous little noose. I'm just gonna stop that. We seem to be sinking a bit low. Let's give it a bit of juice. bit 
confused because we're just going where the air goes and they gave me a map. I don't know how we're supposed to get to where we're supposed to be going on the map just by riding the air currents. Do you? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? No, well, I dare say that's because I haven't properly explained it to you. Useless. So, we're off on a little adventure. And you have rather handled have rather handily agreed to be uh, my sidekick or apprentice. We'll go with sidekick, shall we? For this amount of money, you, you know, should be sidekick at least. But you would think for this amount of money, they would have given me someone who knew how to tie knots. You know, or brought a sharp knife. Either or. Here you go. Catch. Well, that was a terrible catch. Where do you think we're going? Uh -huh. Not quite. Would you like to have a look? For he, so swift and nimble, was of flight, that from this lower tract he dared to fly up to the clouds, and thence with pinioned light to mount aloft unto the crystal sky, to view the workmanship of heaven's height whence down descending, he along would fly upon the streaming rivers, sport to find, and oft would dare to tempt the troublous wind. Fate of the Butterfly by Edmund Spencer, or at least a little bit. Appropriate, no? Not bad. What shall we listen to? Let's put something on the radio. You know, something to spice up the atmosphere between you and I. Not like that, come on. Yeah, great idea, I'll see if I have it. This track actually was one of my now late brother's favorites. He is rather the reason that you and I are both here. Do you know why you're here? You, well, you're not just being paid to be my best friend, funnily enough, even though I rather suspect that's how it's going to end up. Because of the chemistry. No, it has rather more epic proportions. See, last week my brother unfortunately died. Very kind of you to say, but we weren't particularly close. It's still sad, but you know. He rather oddly left me this book here, which on inspection turned out to be his diary. And the diary read thusly, My dearest, although distant, 
Flintlock. If you're reading this, my soul is in the sky. I am dead. I am fled. Death has rocked me asleep, etc. A bit of Shakespeare for you. Anyway, sorry. The key plot point here is that I'm bestowing upon you a divine, divine calling for us. A, a call to action. action, if you will. And in our case, a call to adventure. Yeah, call it what you want. But your task, your burden, should you choose to accept it, is to deliver to my dearest wife, my Annabelle, a message. When I can find it. Aha. Uh -huh. This little thing here has the potential to alter history, to change worlds. It's not that important, really. I mean, it's just a piece of paper. So it's probably unlikely able to do that. But on the occasion that it does do that, I say we give it to her, don't you? Thank you. She's stationed at the city of Altus. Visit Altus, a city in the clouds. Your dreams await. Where she's leading something of a people's revolt. Yes, something of a revolution. Well, you know, we all want to change the world. She needs this message and your help. So, choose your companion. Arm yourself. Take to the skies and join my lovely Annabelle. Godspeed. And don't cock it up. Yes. P potentially a rather unlikely hero, but a likable one. Perfectly affable with his sidekick. Don't you reckon? Well, this is our journal now. And I'm going to fill it with our adventures. With stories after stories, starting with this one. The epic tale of how Flintlock, Flint for short, or Flunt if you're a Kiwi, and his trusty companion by the name of hmm, dot 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 how they commandeered a balloon and took into the skies to fight with rapiers and cutlasses and broadsword. I mean, these are just swords. Uh, and I mean, my name is Flintlock. You would think that I would have, you know, gone for pistols first. Pistols and rifles, muskets, cannons. Uh, yeah, so we can work on this journal together. Very excited about it. What would be your weapon of choice, by the way? I think you can go more epic than that, don't you? Oh, come on, think bigger. Bigger. Broader, grander. Yeah, no, I rather think that a flint uh, and a pistol would be a bit like, you know, on the nose. So uh, I'm thinking more of like a you know, battle axe. Yeah, battle axe. I think I'd be, I'd be a little great with a battle axe. I don't know how much fighting we, we're going to find ourselves in. It's uncharted territory, as they say. Literally, we're just messengers. But, you know, messengers with a battle axe.
who can fly balloons. Do you want a drink, by the way? No, I don't mean tea. Good stuff. Yes, no, maybe so. You're not the most decisive person, are you? Well, here's to your health. smart one in this dynamic duo. I'm a sort of wild card, sort of, you know, devil may care, play things fast and loose. But that's fine. We're establishing the dynamic, you know? It's good to get it done now, before we arrive. Actually, would you mind just hitting that bell down there? Yeah. surrounded by just the highest possible height you could be, basically. Can you see it? roses flying through the sky <laughs> and confetti <sighs> I suppose you'd like to have a look just first though are you ready? well I don't really know what's there on the other side but I need to be sure that you and I are in this together. We both have a part to play in this. All right, you ready? Let's do it. 